All right, Mike, thanks so much. Joining me now is Nathan Sales, former ambassador at large and coordinator for counterterror under President Trump. Nathan, good to see you. Now, your old boss spoke today about these strikes. Watch. I've been talking about World War III for a long time, and I don't want to make predictions because the predictions always come true. We're not going to make, but they are very close to global catastrophe. We have a non-existent president and a non-existent vice president. Nathan, uh, the situation around the United States with a hurricane uh, suffering, and now we see uh, more concern about what's unfolding in the Middle East. Is President Trump right? Are we on the verge, without strong American leadership, of a catastrophe in the Middle East? Well, Laura, thanks for having me on. The world is on fire, and the only way to put it out is for America to assert leadership. That's how you have peace, peace through strength. You know, President Biden keeps telling Iran, don't, and the Iranians keep ignoring him. This is the second time in six months that the Iranians have felt emboldened enough to launch a direct attack on Israel. And Israel can't afford for that to become the new normal, nor can the United States afford for that to become the new normal. What we need to do is bloody Iran's nose. We need to hit them in the nose, and that way we can avoid a much bigger fight further down the road. It's all about restoring deterrence. Once you lose deterrence, as we have under President Biden and Vice Vice President Harris's watch, it's really, really hard to get it back. Now, uh, President Biden addressed the issue of an Israeli response to today's missile barrage. Watch. I would invite Israel to respond to Iran. That's an active discussion right now. We've got to get all the data straight. We've been in constant contact with the, uh, with the Israeli government and our counterparts, and that remains to be seen. Thank you. What is your message to Prime Minister Netanyahu, and have you spoken with him today? I haven't spoken with them. We've sp we have spoken with all those people, and I'll be talking to them, and my message will depend on what we find finally conclude is needed. Now, Nathan, I'm not an expert in, you know, foreign, uh, di you know, diplomacy and these kind of issues, but he says he is in constant contact with Israeli government officials, but you haven't spoken to Netanyahu? What is that all about? Yeah, it's not exactly a message that's calculated to strike fear in the heart of the supreme leader, is it? I mean, we're going to talk and we're going to look at the data. Th this isn't hard. One, we support Israel's right to defend itself against genocidal terrorist regimes like the Islamic Republic of Iran. Two, we're going to make you pay a price. We said don't. We said there's going to be severe consequences. Now it's time to match the actions to the words. Because if you don't, if you threaten, if you cry wolf and then don't deliver, the Iranians are going to think, you know, what? We can get away with murder, literally. Well, right now, um, Nathan, Americans are very worried tonight. Uh, they don't see an active, engaged president. He shows up in the Oval, and I know he's in the Situation Room, but everyone knows what it looks like when we have a commander-in-chief who's truly there and engaged, and that is not what we see tonight in the United States. And I'm, I'm, I'm sad to say that, but that is not what we see. Nathan, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.